field for tonight's first race is on the track and prating to the post. First half of the Daily Double, Exacta and Trifecta wagering one, Branson. Owned by Gary Risco, driven by David Majeski. Two Guns and Knives, owned by Kenny Edward with Mike Wilder. Number three is Max Public Enemy, owned by Charlie Dillinger with Randy Tharps. Number four, Rambling Wick, owned by Tom Watson and William Watson. Jeff Fout will be aboard. Number five is Dazzler Nuke, owned by driver Elliot Deaton and Steve Morningstar. Number six, Canopy, owned by Pamela Dean with Del S. Miller. Seven is Rachel's Rubin, owned by Wilma Steyer with Jim Daly. Eight is Holly Hill Limited, owned by David Decker with Ron Carbone. Nine is Bicycle P, owned by Robert Smoko with Ron Steck, 10 Baker's Legacy. Owned by William Binkley and Michelle Whitlock, Larry Binkley will be in the sulky. That's the field for tonight's first race. Kathy McDonald, the parade marshal, brought the field to the post. We're less than five minutes away over a sloppy track. It is now in motion. And there they go. They're off in pacing with Dazzler Nuke going to the front from between horses. Branson along the rail. Rushing up on the far outside, Holly Hill Limited on the move from third. Down the back stretch, Max Public Enemy is fourth and moving up. Here comes Canopy driving up on the outside to fifth. Guns and Knives rallies quickly to sixth. Moving up on the far outside, here comes Bicycle P toward the rail, Baker's Legacy. Rambling Wick, ninth on the outside, tenth and last long shot, Rachel's Rubin. Moving by the quarter in 27 and 2. Speeding past the stands to the half mile pole. Dazzler Nuke under Elliot Deaton has got the top. Max Public Enemy drives up on the outside. He starts the action from mid pack. Holly Hill Limited will stay the pocket third. Driving up on the outside, Branson the fourth around the clubhouse turn. Canopy is out in moving fifth. Saving ground, Guns and Knives sixth. In between horses, Baker's Legacy is seventh. Nearest the rail, Bicycle P. On the far outside, Rambling Wick is ninth. Rachel's Rubin is 10th and last. They're at the half, 57 and 2. Flying to three quarters. Max Public Enemy driving wide and hard gets the lead. Branson is on the move to second. Dazzler New gives way to third. Nowhere to go. Howie Hill Limited fourth. Between horses, Guns and Knives fifth. On the far outside, Baker's Legacy is sixth. Moving by three quarters in a fast 126 and 2. The favorites got the top midway on the far turn. By about a length and a half, Max Public Enemy continues to lead the way. Dazzler Nuke might have some life left in him. The rest better pick it up. Down to two inside the final eighth of a mile. Max Public Enemy clings to the lead. Dazzler Nuke on the outside is no match. Max Public Enemy, number one, leaving the field. Dazzler Nuke is next up the rail. Bicycle P coming on third. Here's the unofficial winner of tonight's first race. Number three, Max Public Enemy. Three-year-old Bay Colt by Whitsons Mac out of Miss is Betty Rodney. Owned and trained in Louisville, Kentucky by Charlie Dillinger. Given a well-judged drive tonight by Randy Tharps. Covering the mound 158 and two to equal his lifetime best and take victory number two in a row. Three, Max Public Enemy, the unofficial winner.